Well, it's great to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I have to say, I really enjoyed last night. I was kind of sitting at the corner table, kind of watching. And, you know, it's amazing how this group has grown from two years ago when we first got involved in Chicago. But, you know, I watch people re get reacquainted, introduce themselves, and really that's a, at least a third of why this meeting is important is for networking. So what I want to do a little bit this morning is uh, give you a little background of what I do and also tell you why I'm here, and then talk a little bit about the things that we have going on at Purina. So uh, I'm Senior Livestock Marketing Director for Purina. Uh, I have two day jobs. One is I run our swine business, which is innovation, marketing, new product development, PR, and market research. And my other day job is that I do consulting for our joint venture in Kenya, Africa. So every quarter I go to Africa at least for two weeks to help develop sales, products, marketing, and direction. So those are my two day jobs. Then my three night jobs <laughs> uh, happen to be, uh, I, I'm involved with uh, Purina. It's going to be probably announcing a new acquisition here in a couple weeks. I'm involved with that. Uh, those of you that sell horse or dairy know about our extrusion products. We are building or rebuilding a new plant at St. Joe. I do that. And then thirdly, my other job is to be involved with figuring out how particularly livestock business at Purina becomes more relevant to our cooperative. So how do we be more relative? What can we bring to you? So that's really what got me to why here I'm here. About two and a half years ago, I was asked to say, you know, we don't seem to be as connected as we should be to our cooperatives, our third or about 22% of our business, but are also our owners. And so I'm kind of on a journey with developing services and ideas, and we're testing stuff in supply chain and marketing and sales to figure out how we become more relevant with you folks from the feed side. And one of those things was that how do we help develop marketing and in the digital e-business world? And that's where Faye and I got together, I think it was in Chicago two years ago mm -hmm. about now, yep. that we started talking about how does feed work with Winfield. And I've already mentioned that feed as an industry is way behind where you folks are and in agronomy you know, and that type of thing. So we're trying to work on that. We're trying to get resources. We're trying to bring things that you can use and help develop all things that are in the digital world. So that brings us to today. So any questions on that or comments? Okay. So what I want to do here is really do a couple things. I'm going to go through about three slides for each of the livestock species, dairy, cattle, swine, and I'm going to talk about what we're doing as far as the rest of 18, what are we going to do in 19, and then new products that we're planning on bringing to the marketplace next year, and then share a look at our 2019 calendar. I do this because of just what Faye said. You know, we have a lot of stuff. We create a lot of digital, a lot of materials and a lot of things like that that A, you can use or we should be able to customize for you to use in your website. So I just want to share that. There's probably some materials that are not relevant to you. And this will kind of give you a flavor of what we're going to be doing so that you have content or ideas that if you so choose to build campaigns around the same thing that we're doing. Okay? So first, Gary, um, if you look at the rest of 2018, I think it's a very, very busy slide, but the things that are most important, I think, to us really are kind of the three middles here, are what kind of things are we going to be doing the rest of this year? So media-wise, we're going to have two, no two herds are alike. This is our campaign for those of you that are in the dairy world. Uh, we're going to do more on Facebook with CAV, and we are the young animal experts. And so you can see on there what we're doing, when we're doing it how we're doing it, if that ties to any of you. So back up a minute. Um, how many of you here uh, feed is either second or third largest business in your co-op? A few, second or third. Is there anybody that's the biggest? Ah, good. That's a good deal. So, so you, you know, that's important. I understand that, you know, this is very agronomy-based, but 
when Faye and I started talking about this group, we wanted to make it more than it is very much around Atlas and building that, but it's really around developing marketing. So then if you look at some of the things that we're going to do in 2019, again, uh, this is campaign by quarter, and we'll have this available for you if you would like a copy, you know, to give you an idea. But down here are the things that we're going to be doing that are important from a dairy standpoint. Uh, we care for calves, uh, generate greater awareness of land lakes and lakes products, monthly herd smart, which is our rationale for the program, proof paid, you know, if this be an area we'll have materials that you should be able to use in, in your website if you want to. And then finally, continue that no two herds are alike, the differentiation of the products and programs that you can offer. New products, we're going to be doing some new products in animal milk, young animal milk, cat milk replacement. We'll be having some new products with a different message for Amplicat, which is our starters, and that new adult cow technology. So it gives you just a very quick look at what we're going to be doing in dairy. Uh, we will have a session tomorrow on customer community, but particularly this is where our resource that you can go and get materials and information to put on your site or use. Dairy is really ramping up theirs. Uh, they want to build more on the tools. So again, this probably is a little bit more directed towards your salespeople. But it's important that you are aware of the tools that we have. And so on customer community, they have a new area that helps with materials on no two birds or alike. And in there, there's calculators, there's tools, <coughs> frequently asked questions, which could be stuff you can use in your site, a guide, which can be pulled down and used, and then finally, a lot of educational modules that you here can use in your site or provide an email that you might do with your customer in the dairy. Cattle wise, Dan, what were those modules? What format are the modules? You know? Yes, they're in a format. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. Okay, yes. good. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I know that our whole group is trying to make stuff that's easily transferable, but I can't tell you. Okay, no, that's fine. Right. Cattle wise, how many of you have cattle as your best species for feed? Okay, a few of you there. So, again, uh, some of the marketing activities for risk this year. If you know what preconditioning receiving chow is, uh, it's 50 years old this year. I can remember when I started uh, 50 years ago, but uh, it was, uh, used to love to sell semi loads of that. Uh, so we're celebrating that. Our campaign for the cow calf is it's all about numbers. So we have a lot of materials in there that can be transferred. Uh, Facebook management tips are again some tools that you can use to plug into your site or your email uh, from there. When you look at 2019, again, if you think about the tactics, the checkpoint newsletter, Facebook, monthly e-tip, proof-based trial. Proof-based trial program. Again, materials that are really be transferred that you can use in your marketing if you so choose. And again, by keeping with this, if you're doing timely things, you know, spring, first quarter, if you're looking for something to do on the cattle side, uh, on your sites, you should be doing mineral because that's what we're doing. You know, and that kind of, to me, gets one plus one equals three. And we have materials that you can customize and put your co-op first and Purina second. Or, you know, your co-op is the lead and Purina might be the end bell. New products for the cattle business. Some new fat technologies in our block. Uh, more information on calf creeps. And finally, looking at more to the meat and supply control uh, in our mineral or glycine. One other thing that we're going to do more, and this has been a direct result of being involved with this group, is we're going to try to put together more social media posts that really can be customizable. And again, worried about, hey, supply, put your co op here and then you can simply put that on your site and use the tool from there. So we'll be doing more on that. Not all, not as much, but cattle will be doing a lot of it for our new ones. I have a question. Are we going to be bringing... 
We will work on that. It's Right now it's hard to do automatic because we have to get development on their side. But all this stuff we'll make available, and I'll show on a slide at the end, we'll make this stuff available, not like a link to the community as well as pulling some in. Um, they don't change as fast, but the automatic RSS feed is one that's on our list. Absolutely. Any other questions on that? Okay, last one. So even if you have to lie, how many of you care about swine? Oh, oh good. A couple. Good. Feeling much better now. So, um, from our standpoint, 2018, what we're finishing up. Uh, again, our progress to profit is our young animal. Uh, we're we're doing Facebook, but Facebook is really directed towards what we call the traditional producer or the backyard or family. You know, the person has eight, ten sows or three or four pigs, which isn't a lot of pigs. Uh, it's only about 5% of the total pig population in the U.S., but there are 50,000 people that own pigs, one to two to three pigs in the U.S. And the interesting thing we've really found out is that if you know anything about the lifestyle, particularly family plots, the last few years, one of the fastest growing segments has been backyard poultry. You know, everybody wants chickens for eggs or and broilers. Well, we found out that on the broiler side, 50% of the people that get broilers for their backyard also have pigs. So again, kind of a connection that we're working there. It's not really the commercial <laughs> too, but you get, uh, you know, business that's there, that's bag, with margin. So, when well, you think about 2019, again, our Facebook, um, Facebook on, uh, we can have more monthly management tips that you can cut and paste and use and see greatness of trials that we're trying to get involved so we can get local testing on. New products, EcoCare is our environmental sustained product that we've had for seven or eight years. We have some new uh, products, some new technologies to bring to that. Uh, and then gel, how many of you know what our gel is? Okay, a couple of do. It's really looks like tofu. And it's the greatest product ever to get pigs to eat. Young pigs that are weaned, are sick, are too little, uh, are unhealthy. It's the only product we've ever found that every pig will ever eat. The problem is labor intense. So it comes today in a five gallon bucket. And the bigger the producers are, they have to have scoop out, put it in the crate, scoop out. Unfortunately, there's a lot of hired help that uh, we just going to put the whole bucket in two pens instead of spreading it out in 20, so it's never really grown. So we're addressing that. Hopefully, as of next year, like, we will have a five-pound um, bag that kind of squirts. Easier to handle, easier to use, and then pushes the south feed to help productivity in the south. So that's a little bit about swine. Uh, we did do this year, this year and will next year that you'll have available. We will have a content calendar that will kind of condense everything that I've just talked in the last 10 minutes, add it into a calendar so that you can look at. Again, if you so choose to execute some of your campaigns, same time we're doing ours, or you're looking for collateral, or looking for material to go with that, this calendar would be a good a resource for you to figure out what you want to use for that. So, with that, that's a very quick overview. If you would be interested in having this slide set, let's say or I know and we'll get it for you. Uh, but again, just kind of give you an idea. We are going to do more and more and we're putting stuff out on the site this day uh, that you can go out and drag and we are going to continue that, hopefully add even more every quarter. So, we're trying to give you that part of the information stuff to give you more content to put on your site. Questions? Comments? Okay. Wait. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, <I> guess. <laughs> All good. Perfect. Well, we work very closely on our Winfield United Atlas team with our marketing communications team. So they put together a few things for us to share with you of some uh, new tools and assets that are available to you.
They have an egg test brochure that's coming down the pike here probably late in 2018. Um, with just with all the, the noise and the clutter that's in the marketplace, it's a tool that's going to really help kind of make things clear about what our overall offering is um, to help you work with your farmers to understand how to navigate all the, the noise that's out there with egg tech and to really understand the value of things on the Winfield United portfolio for egg tech. Um, it's going to be a newspaper type format um, just to really break apart the content, uh, be it more bite sized and easy to read and go through. So this is just kind of an example of what this is probably going to look like. Cropland, we're in the midst of the cropland selling season, so they have quite a few new tools that are also going to be available. Um, we've got some print ads here on the left, digital banners, radio scripts. All this is going to be available on Ad Builder. So a quick show of hands, who all in this room has ever seen or heard of Ad Builder? Hands down, who has not heard of Ad Builder? <laughs> okay, so we might take a quick look at that real quick. Um, it, basically, it's kind of a one-stop shop for any of the Winfield United Creative. You can go upload a logo, you can download a PDF, so it's a kind of a quick way to make co-branded pieces. Um, you can add contact information, uh, print ads and such like that. Um, they also do printing services too that we cover the cost and that um, you go again upload your logo, any contact information that you want on there and it's a, it prints it for you. It, you can mail it directly if you were doing a postcard mailing to growers or if you wanted something delivered to you to hand out. Uh, again, it's just kind of a one-stop shop for pretty much all of the brands but specifically here for Cropland since we're in the seed selling. I think we might have touched base on this one briefly at coming down the pike at our last meeting, uh, but there are some stabilizer tools that are also available that it is co-branded between Winfield United and Sustain. Um, so I'm going to take a quick little peek here. Um, this is just kind of a merchandiser for you of all the things that are available. So we have all the different services in there. So anything with equipment, support, the Sustain programs. Um, ag technology, it's kind of a little menu of all the things that are available with programs and services and offerings. Also available would be postcards, ad slips, social posts, radio scripts. Again, I believe all of this is available on Ad Builder. Again, you can add your logo, your contact information. So if you have any questions on this, um, there's instructions here and we're going to post all this stuff later. And I might be able to just take a quick look too. I don't know, is it easy to Plug in. Um, for what part do you want to? Oh, um, yeah. Ad Builder. Do you want to show Ad Builder yeah, really maybe quick? Maybe I'll do that real quick. For those that haven't been out there. Perfect. So Ad Builder is in Business Link. So you would log on in and there it's under the advertising and promotion section. So I'm already in there. So they recently redid this and you can search by products, uh, the different type if you're looking for a print ad, postcard, um, specific to the Catalyst program if you are um, in Catalyst. Um, you can also search by a brand, so maybe I want to see what's in for Cropland. And so here we have all those radio scripts that I talked about. We've got some um, print ads, postcards. There's a lot on here. Um, I believe. And again, if you want to just come get a get the PDF, if you want, if that's all you need, if you were trying to do something on your website and you kind of wanted to rework something, um, easy way to come get uh, the latest and greatest for our Winfield United Creative. Very much similar to what Purina has too. Okay, as I said, I think I need that. No, I don't need that. I need that.
Okay. So if you have any questions or need help getting access to business link to find ad builder, feel free to reach out to me and I can walk you through that later. Still in front of the stabilizer piece. One of the things they created were just key messages to help uh, create easier talking points when you're working with rowers. your DTM as well too. They know where to find these items as well. We have a, a spot where we keep a lot of content and assets as well. And before I hand it over, I wanted to just give a quick little announcement for later today. We are going to have a panel with some members from this group. We have some folks who have been with us for a while and a, a few who are newer but have had a little bit of time on uh, the platform. Um, we're going to just talk a little bit about digital marketing and things that they've done, some of their biggest successes and biggest learning. So I'd like the panel members to stand up real quick if that would work. Perfect. So this is at 2 o'clock today. So we had a, a little prep call last week, so we wanted to make sure that we kind of introduced them uh, real quick to you. So start thinking if you have any questions about digital marketing, uh, to some of our veteran members here, feel free to start thinking about that. Um, and be ready for that two o'clock. Thank you. Wait, you still have one. Keep going. Oh yes. Um, so more egg tech. This might have already been shared to some of you in the room already, uh, but we have an egg tech campaign that is actually in market, kind of ending right now, but it could be long-standing. These tools are still available. We'd love it if you were interested and wanted to run anything along the side <coughs> with, uh, with this. Um, so again, a lot of noise in the marketplace for egg tech. Um, there are a lot of startups. There's a lot of things happening out there. And so we wanted to make sure that we had some things available to you and things that we were running on our own as well. Um, so this was kind of a high-level look at what was in market on our end. Uh, we did kind of a big digital blitz uh, with paid digital ads, social, um, display ads. Uh, again, that kind of started up late September through right about now. We have several different banner ads that are available. Um, these are all available to you if you want to use them on your own websites, your social pages. Um, these can be co-branded as well. So just kind of a little look at some of the creative. Uh, looks like we have postcards are also available. We've got some stories. Again, all these tools are available on Ad Builder. I did that because I am. Share my screen again. Okay. Here we go. Thanks, Keaton. All right. Any questions for Kevin or for Dan on some of the assets that are available? Okay. One um, as we're doing this, um, one of the things that we wanted to make sure Dan mentioned was the content calendar. We also have put together a content calendar for Winfield, and the DPMs are bringing those out and working with other teams, so we can make it available to you as well. And the color coding is specific to, like a CHP. This is something national that we're going to have access for, or it might be here's an R7 thing. So we wanted to make sure that as you're trying to put together plans or looking for resources, you have this. 
and I'll show you where it's available. So it will be available for not only um, out of one Excel sheet, and in there you have a tab Katrina and you have a tab for Winfield. So you'll be able to have all of that information right there. The other thing, if you haven't been, there is our support site. So I'll hand this out and we'll send this out quite a bit, but this support site is for, I don't know how to do something, or you know, this is where all of the assets are going to live too. So I'm going to download that content calendar, or teach me how to do something. I use this all the time. If you have assets that you need, I don't have a picture of an Angus beef cow in the field, please send it to me. You just go in here, send in an email, and we will go ahead and there's the whole site's also a different step. We will help you get out. I need a campaign that does this. That's what we're here to help out with. And this is for my team gets it, and then we can go and work with the other teams and be able to do that. So the thing that's really important for you guys is while we're the two here, we do resource, um, and I should say there's some of our team members, there's resources behind us that aren't here. I think that's the same way with Dan Marie. And there's a ton of people behind us that we're able to access. So please let us know and we're happy to help. The other thing is, and I know a few of you are newer and probably not been getting it, but will, do you guys see this come in your email, this insights to action? Anybody? I also, okay, awesome. <laughs> so what this does is we're trying to send out trends, ideas, um, like when we have this new campaign come out, we'll send things out. We send it out twice a month. What we're trying to do is make sure you guys have something coming in your box going, here's something new, here's about three social media trends that will affect your digital atmosphere. So I always try to try and send that relevant to you, as well as here's new materials available, here's something new. This is where if, a, if there's a slowdown in Atlas, you'll get an email from us in here. So there are times when things are happening, or now this is less than so glad we can have for us, but when Azure went down recently, that was our seven, no? Um, this is, we will send out emails immediately. <coughs> So you guys know if there's ever a slowdown. Believe it or not, I actually know exactly when sites are going down. I give an email. I actually get it on my phone. So any time a site is going down, I'll know it. We'll look at it. Again, the team back at the office doesn't mean anything. They will, but we know. Um, we will also do, like I said, if there's new widgets and things like that. Later in the in the advanced group and in my group, we'll go through new widgets that we put in. So this is a great one to include. Other ideas. I was recently talking with somebody, and now I'd like for you guys to, I'm sorry, I'm going to wake you up out of your breakfast coma. Other ideas that we could use. Somebody was recently saying, it'd be great if we could talk back and forth, we're talking, I think, with the channel. And I was like, you know, we could put the blog feature in here, and that way if you guys have questions, we can actually ask each other. So that was one thing we had talked about, maybe putting on that website as well. So if you guys have questions, you could ask it to this group. Um, we can also say, hey, and I get tons of stuff, here's an email on how to do this better, because I'm always getting lots of great articles to share. So I'm going to start doing that, but I'd love to hear from you if there's other avenues or other ideas that you might think of that you'd want to either information you'd want, avenues you'd want to hear from or do, any any thoughts? And I know I'm putting you on the spot, but I thought I'd ask. No? Anything in the main I know it's hard. It's early. Okay. Um, How can we get better 
of what we've been doing. I think that's a lot of what you're seeing in facilitating is that open conversation between the teams. Is that fair, Drew? Yeah, and absolutely. Zach, I think. Part of our um, part of the journey here that from uh, R7 comprehensive, I think that seems to be like very ag tech related, uh, is in it a lot of the tools within that product really here to your ag technology or teams program tends to change every year. This year the program is really around helping helping drive more of the digital campaign team. So my idea would be that um, uh, once the, the, the owner uh, is kind of ready to move forward with an R7 comprehensive team and they want to execute on the three campaign, that's when they should that's when they should loop in. We should encourage uh, people that we've kind of talked to from a, from a contract standpoint on our so we've been the experts like yourself to make sure that we uh, um, make sure we can help you guys execute on those on, on those campaigns. So it's really about the internal communication. I think that's the role that we play. We can also help you know help you guys out with uh, the content and make sure that it uh, fits the needs of uh, just looking around the room, Drew, is everybody in here has a DTM? Does everybody in this room know who their DTM is or digital? That would be like Drew's team, Will or Zach. Is there somebody who does not know? Aaron. Aaron Cypress. Yeah. So he's been talking. Thank you. Okay, and you guys are a little bit newer, so we'll make sure to do that. But that will be a really good connection point. Because, <clears throat> for example, what Drew is talking about is there's a program that they will get dollars back to execute campaigns. So we want to figure out what's the right way to do it, and I know you guys are usually the last ones to know, but we want to make sure that you guys get the tools you need to help out. Yeah. You, yeah, Country Vision, there's actually Carly Edge is filling in, and she's more of a TM, which was one, but she will absolutely, we'll get her up to speed on that, and Coley can help out with that part of it. Because she's not as versed. Oh, Carly, she's awesome. She's working with a couple other co-ops, but we'll make sure to do that. Because yeah. you do want to, from a comprehensive, you'll want to get those program dollars. And then just like as a general question, I think our internal communication to the ground is struggle. And so um, I don't know if that's because there's forwarding some emails to their teams today, but like, you know, it's now turning to junk mail. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. And you, I, Drew, the team that works in the field, I was going to say Drew, Will, and Zach, you guys deal with this every day. Yeah, I was just that's why I was just on the call. Similar to right, just in communication. The way, that, the way that I found that more is to try to do some sort of structured communication that where it's like, ah, on Friday we're going to do this update. Or um, from an internal perspective, I think that if I was, if I was in the role of marketing folks, at the role of marketing role as a local owner. I, I look at my business unit lead, the feed business unit lead, or a, a energy, all of them. Whatever yeah. it is that you're, like I would, I would, I would see if there's a way in which I could do some sort of regular cadence of conversations with the leadership, uh, maybe in person or, or not very able to do that in person, but maybe, uh, you know, bi-weekly, like kind of a little powwow sessions or. Uh, like, hey, what's happening in the business? What's, what's relevant right now? What are the what are the successes and challenges to make sure that from a marketing perspective for me, uh, that might be something that could be valuable. But from an ex like to the out to the field, you're on it. That's that, that's a tough one. The only thing I would say you try to get some regular communication. Questions and knowing what is going to be coming up six weeks from now, and that's 
put that content calendar out, but at the same time, that's when we start. We do this quite a lot more than we do that. They have all the I always say that if, like the information is in the field. You just have to figure out how to get it out. Maybe they're writing it all a little bit, right? I mean he's the agronomic expert, right? But he's you actually can write an article no way. I'm gonna do a video, no, I'm gonna do a video, right? He's an admin But yeah, if you just interview him, right, ask him the right kind of question, you can give him good content. We just like you mean it's more of an natural yeah. and natural environment. One of, that's a great question, Phil. And it's, it's, it's interesting because TSC is like a mini version of us to degree. And we're actually working on them right now to be able to do a one site can push out to many of the cooperators. That is also what we're going to do with all of the, when I talk campaigns and I'm saying email and access, all of these campaigns will be pushed into your site. So we will make sure that you have the five or six options for the R7 campaign. So it'll be in the back end, we'll, and that's part of the training. We'll show you. So then what you can say is, oh, I like this one, and I'll, but I need to change it to my thing. So you will have to modify it, but you'll have a starting. I like to call it a library. Um, and that was something where I, that was always a vision I've had for years. But I don't know, funny thing it does is, maybe that's what I do have on my phone, to be able to do this development that fast. Because as the guys at this table know, I push really hard on my scrum team, and I love them to death, and they're doing a great job. But our roadmap is long and heavy. So um, we're finally getting to absolutely to that. That's on our roadmap. And that is the neat part is this year, all these library of things that were a, you know, if this is a, like a thing where you can get dollars back for your company because you're running this program, that will be in Pentico. And we'll show you later because you'll be able to say, I want to run, you can put it now and go, I want to run this in June. You can just test it, get it ready, and put the dates in, and it'll run in June. The guys that have been with us since the beginning, you know, sometimes we forget to, remember, to tell you guys, yes. Because what we used to be, when with these, some of these things we ran through, they were really hard to put together. And I, I shouldn't even use, I don't even want to talk about MailChimp and some of that stuff, but super easy to use. And then we came along with Kentico. Kentico is a, it's super, it's got a lot on it, but you almost have to be a developer to use half the assets. Honestly, phase one development was a lot to make sure that you guys could do just that. And we finally are finishing the email part of it. So you will have a drag and drop experience. And Coley's actually finishing up with our scrum team right now to make sure that it's enough that it will continue to develop into that. Anything I put out, you guys will be able to go in and change. So yes, if you, and in fact, we encourage it. What we're going to put out will be, here's some of a, a, a big idea, but the only way it works is if you localize it with your data. So, and, and that's for everybody in here. You need to go in and go, Here's what our insight trials are saying. 
And that's why this back and forth with either the DTM or your agronomist or however you do that, that data, that unique insight from the local is what's going to drive the insights they want. That these days go, oh, this is information I need to have. I didn't know I didn't have. Okay. Other questions? This is exactly what I want to hear, you guys. Because one of the things we maybe could do is our DTMs are uniquely positioned where they're out talking to you guys every day. I would love to be able to push some of this stuff out on here's an idea from them. Here are the 10 questions and we can put that out so you can get all that stuff. And then if you have successes, did you also have a question? Well, and you remember that what we showed you guys, this isn't, we're taking a very operational organization and asking them to become marketing. So, to your point, you won't have to know. That's one of the learnings that Julie and I were doing with PSD together on this. One learning that we had was try not to necessarily blow the ocean. Like, just try to get small little wins where we ran three or four campaigns in the first half of the year and we're running three or four. Instead of trying to like start now and play out for 12 months, try to predict what's going to happen, um, and, and try to and try to put a whole like that seemed like a bit too much for us. We chunked it out and like half an hour, and we just basically said, what, what's what's our message? What's our call to action? And how are we going to execute? Who are we sitting with? And we just fleshed out 10 days out for the campaign. We we 10 days out for the campaign right now. We have to you know, make sure we have all the details. The other learning from that uh, and the whole thing was like, looping in like the experts when they're asking is really important. Like when we would ask uh, some of the agronomy teams to give us feedback of, uh, that are actually out in the field, like what's happening right now, to tell them like what, what our vision is and what we're trying to do, then they provide some really nice context of what's happening weather-wise, what's happening in the field, that can kind of make the sense of they like to they like to be involved in this. Like they would like to like give give their opinions. They don't necessarily want to do the, the creative work, right, Julian? But they definitely want to say, hey, yeah, like we're seeing a lot of faults this year, issues, nitrogen issues, we just trained a lot in our planning data push back and those things are really invaluable as you are really localizing this. So pushing those people in at a certain point along the way, not from the beginning, they get a little overwhelmed, but three quarters of space and they give us some feedback on this. And true, you just brought up an awesome point. As we start to think about those folks that are trying to disrupt our industry, the people like an FBN, the people like those, those national companies doing digital, today they do not have. We have such a great resource with the guys with the boots on the field, you know, but there's there's only them in the field and they're out there. So getting that information and localizing it, you still have. That is that you are better than Google if you can take what they have in their heads and get it out there. That is amazing. I, one thing I think would be, I like to hear like that stories of how you localize the message and what you use to really get engagement, clicks and open rates, that kind of stuff. Like you and I have tried a hundred different things. We think we have maybe a start of a recipe that's working, but I like to hear from everybody else. Like, what's worked for you? Like, have you have you clicked on this? We we'll always have good ideas on how to like create uh, click throughs and like get engagement. You know, is it social, is it email, is it uh, what, what works from a call to action standpoint? Because we're still, we're still kind of working. Right? We're like, let's figure it out. Exactly. I think what the work of education is really important. Like, you know, that's incredible. You know, you know, what is it? We went from trying to, you know, learn more with a PDF that we would lay in my cell sheet. Uh, that was okay. And then, but when we started putting videos, although that's a lot more effort, 
I'm, I'm probably like three years behind from most people in this audience. I'm like, well, this video thing, like, this might actually work. <laughs> you know, I like, the yeah, internet's going well. Yeah. Doing that for five years. So, you know, uh, thank you, that's the model. No, that's awesome. That would be good. From a speed, I, we talked a lot about agronomy. Dan, and I know you have some more folks that I wouldn't mind you introducing them that have joined us. Any other thoughts from a feed perspective? And are you guys having the same challenge with feed as agronomy, or is agronomy the elusive one? Both sides? Okay. Dan, any thoughts that you have? Because you have a field team out there as well. Well, And one thought would be, because I, I have a feeling, you know, it's, 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 when I talk to people, I'm like, sometimes they don't realize how many eyes go on your website. Maybe if you put some stuff out there, it's like, hey, I put this out, does that matter? <laughs> that might be a way to kind of surprise them in community security, too. Um, I was just going to say, if we can introduce a couple of these folks, join us. Yeah, um, I'd like to introduce <laughs> Still getting used to that, aren't we? <laughs> still getting used to that. Sure, you I still reach our view. Awesome, thank you, Don. Um, yes, you can see they're set up for a break, so I'm going to save one more person who's going to introduce himself because he snuck in, and I know he's on his phone, but Ben, if you could at least say hello. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but I don't want people to go, who is this guy? Yeah, so uh, my name is Ben Carl. And, and thank you for driving up this morning. We sincerely appreciate it.
All right, so as we drive up, or um, as these guys are setting up, I'm going to give you guys a few minutes. When we come back, um, we will do, i just making sure. Uh, what, yes, yeah, we'll break till about 10.15. Molly will set up while we're gone. We'll talk about sustain. Then we're going to have Nick do a little bit on um, Pensico, and then we'll do the storytelling before we break for lunch. I would encourage you, and thank you, Dan, for mentioning that. Please talk to us during the break if you don't know how to get on Ad Builder. If you don't know what some of these tools are, it's so much easier when we're sitting here to help you guys out. If you're having troubles, let us know. Don, you'll be joining us tonight? Awesome. So not only during the break, but then also tonight. And Molly, the stuff you're doing, are you going to be able to join tonight? Awesome. Uh, and I think Donnie, uh, so all of our guests, I believe, will be joining us. So if you don't get a chance to talk to them during the day, We'll be doing that tonight, and there will be music, but it'll be downstairs, so it'll be good. All right, let's take any other questions. Otherwise, let's take a quick break, and I might even give you a couple extra minutes, and we'll meet back at 10.15. Awesome. Hey, um, we have a question. Yeah. 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 Yeah.